All right, hello engineering students and welcome to this tutorial for the two block socket. Uh, previously we did the one block socket. We're going to use a very similar uh, procedure to create this. We're going to create a quarter section of it and then just do some mirroring. Um, there's kind of some funky extrusions as you can see here. Uh, so please follow along closely with those extrusions so you know exactly what's going on. Okay, so we're going to start a new part file. And we're going to start a 2D sketch on our XY plane. We're going to start out with a rectangle. And that rectangle is going to be 1.2 inches long by 0.465 inches high. So we're going to finish that sketch. Do a basic extrusion to a depth of 0.57 inches. And now we're going to do a fillet right away for this edge so we're going to fill it 2.2 inches select that and there we go now we're going to do our shelling right away as well too so first thing we're going to shell out the inside of this shape okay uh, let's see here there we go so you should have something that looks like that after your first shell that was a to a dimension of 0.1 and now we're going to shell out the back side to create that ledge. So we're going to go to shell, and this is going to be to a dimension of 0.05 inches. So we're going to go there, there, this bottom edge, and then we're going to come over here and click this edge, and there we go. Okay, so this is what you should have up to this point. Okay, we created this little ledge feature here that goes all the way around the front of this shape okay so now we're going to start a 2d sketch on this top face i'm going to rotate this like so we're going to start with a line and that line is going to start right at this point here and it's going to extend up 0.445 inches and now from the end of that line this rectangle is going to be a height of 0.47 inches and a length of 0.382 inches okay now inside of this rectangle that we just created we're going to create kind of a c shape so we're going to go there to there to there to there okay and now we're going to dimension this so from this line to this line that's going to be a dimension of 0.1. Okay, so it slides it out from here to here. It's going to be 0.05. And then we're going to have 0.05 at the bottom here as well. Okay, so 0.05. Now we're going to add in one more line. We're going to start at this line here, drag it all the way down. And then that's also going to be a dimension of 0.05 okay so there's our completed sketch so we'll finish that and now the first thing that we need to do with this sketch is we're going to extrude out that C shape that we created and we're going to cut it to a depth or a dimension of 0.15 inches okay so there we go now the next thing is we are going to flip this over and from this bottom face we're going to offset a work plane so we're going to go up here we're going to go offset and we're going to offset this uh 0 0.03 inches so just a little tiny offset there okay so we have our offset work plane now we're going to go over to our browser and we're going to click the plus sign for extrusion 2 we're going to make sketch 2 visible again so you're going to right click on sketch 2 make it visible and now we're going to go up to extrude we're going to click that little rectangle there and we're going to use a different extrude command we are going to do this between two faces or planes now the first face that we're going to select is this top face the next face or plane that we're going to select is that offset plane so we're going to click that and now automatically inventor wants to cut that rectangle out we don't want to cut, we want to actually join. 
So we're going to go join. And now you can see that that rectangle is being pulled down. So we have a little bit of a kind of a ledge or a step made there. Okay. So we're going to click that. And now you can see, if we zoom in on it here, you can see that rectangular shape got pulled down. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make that sketch go away. So right click sketch two, visibility gone. Same thing with the work plane, right click, visibility gone. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this inside face. And we're going to start a 2D sketch there. And what this sketch is going to look like is we're going to start with a line at this point, And we're going to extend that line over 0.445 inches. And then from the end of that line, we're going to create a rectangle. That has a length of 0.46 inches and a height of 0.228 inches. Okay, so we're going to finish that sketch. We're going to extrude that rectangle out, but we need to extrude it out to a certain uh, to a certain depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to offset another plane, and it's going to be from this front face here. And it's automatically going to want to extrude it out towards us we want to go back into the object so we're going to extrude or we're going to offset it negative 0 0.033 inches okay now we're going to go to extrude we're going to select that well the rectangle automatically gets selected i guess and then we're going to use two selected face or point and then we're going to select our work plane so it's going to extrude it right out to that work plan, you can see that there. Okay, so we're going to click OK. I'm going to hide this work plane. Makes things a lot easier. Now, we basically, we can mirror this right now and we'd be okay. Um, but we're going to make this look a little prettier by adding in some fillets. Okay, so the first fillet we're going to put in is going to be on this face, this face, and on that rectangular shape that we created there. And we're not going to do a normal fillet. We're going to do a full round fillet. So we're going to go down to this option over here. And what it's going to ask us is to select the side face, center face, and another side face. So we're going to start out with this one over here. There's our first side face. Now our center face is there. And then our next side face is here. Notice what happens. It totally rounds that off for us. Okay. So we are good to go. We're going to apply that. And then we're going to come over here and do the same thing. So side face, center face, side face, boom. And now we're going to go to our rectangular shape, if I can see it here. So there's our first side face. There's our center face. And let's see, where are we at here? And then there's our next side face. Okay, so that got a little confusing. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it now. We're nice and rounded off with that rectangular shape that we pulled down. Okay, so we're going to close that out. Let's go back home so we can see what we're doing. And now we're going to just add in some basic fillets. So we're going to fillet this, this edge here and this edge over here to a dimension of 0.05. So like that and like that, good to go. So now we're just going to put some fine fillets in, um, just some finer detail fillets in, similar to what we did with the one block socket. These aren't totally necessary, but we're going to do them anyway. So we're going to select this edge, this edge, this outer edge, and then we can do this all the way around our square as well. Okay, so we'll do that, we'll do that, 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 okay, just like that, we'll apply it, so it just gives it a little bit of a round there, and then, and then now we're going to just make the magic happen, okay, so we're going to use our mirror tool, and remember we can't do individual features, we need to do solids, so it automatically selects that solid, now we select our mirror plane, which is just going to be this side face. Okay, so we have our top half now. And then we're just going to do the same thing. 
to flip this over, select that, and our mirror plane is just going to be the bottom face. And there we have it. There is our completed two block socket. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions along the way, please let me know. Take care.